It's quarter to eight on Monday morning. Thanks for joining us here on Breakfast today. And more horrific pictures coming out of Greece overnight as the country experiences its most extreme heat wave in 30 years. Wildfires have been burning for the last few days, but continuing to devastate the island of Avia. Yeah, um, these are some of the devastating scenes on the island. Thousands of residents and tourists have had to be evacuated from there and thousands of hectares of land have been destroyed. Well, a group of specialist British firefighters have now travelled to Greece to support the emergency services there. Uh, Tony Brown from Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service is leading the team out there and joins us now live on breakfast. Tony, thanks so much for making time to chat to us this morning. It's a, it's a horrifying situation that you're facing. Yeah, good morning, yes. It's, uh, it, it's quite a, a horrendous picture that you can see uh, on the photos of uh, Evia and other places within Greece. Uh, and we're on our way at the moment to uh, the Peloponnese, uh, a different part of, of, of Greece, to assist and collaborate with the, uh, the Greek civil protection authorities. The authorities there facing an enormous challenge. Have you found out yet exactly what you guys are going to be doing? Yes, yeah, so we've worked hard overnight after arriving in Athens to uh, understand where the position is with the Greek, with the Greek civil protection and the authorities. Uh, and we've had a number of briefings throughout the night. Uh, we've devised a, a, a collaborative plan, really, where we can be most effective. And as I said, we're on our way uh, to the Peloponnese area um, uh, and, and two particular places. And then we're going to assess the area and then we're going to assist in their mechanism and their system to, uh, to, to, to help fight the fires. So, so what's the British contribution? How, how many of you are there? And uh, have you taken kit as well? Or is it, is it just bodies? So we're taking bodies and obviously uh, personal protective equipment, really, that, that from the UK. Uh, there's a team of 21 uh, with a high number of wildfire experts and all whole-time firefighters. The command team within the group is, 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 is four people uh, and we are uh, working hard to, to devise our plans in line with our own systems uh, that will fit seamlessly in with the, uh, the, the work efforts. We're just looking now at pictures of some of the islands being evacuated. In some places, the sky just bright red from, from the flames and the, the air full of smoke. Um, what prepares you as a firefighter from Merseyside for the reality of what's going on in Greece right now? Are these transferable skills? Yeah, clearly, firefighting is, is a broad range of skills. And most of the team, in fact, if not all, uh, are uh, in an international search and rescue team. So we're used to being deployed, we're used to living rough, and we're used to uh, moving around and devising our plans and, and, and changing our, our risk assessments to, uh, to be most effective. And this, is, this has gone on for, for you know, a long time in, in the UK Fire Service. We're working under the national resilience uh, element, uh, which Merseyside has the lead authority for, and that's why you know, we are involved. But we're a multi skill team from all over the UK. OK, well, Tony, we wish you well. Just continue to look at those pictures. Um, we don't envy you, but uh, I'm sure the Greek authorities and the people there are most grateful for your, uh, your attendance and your care. Thanks very much indeed. Take care. Thank you.